Hi guys, in this video I'm going to try and clear up some of the confusion with screw sizing so it's a bit easier for you guys to understand what screw sizing is and what screws you're going to be buying and, and what you're expecting to get is what you get once you've ordered them. So when it comes to screw sizing there's two measurements that they're going to give you about the screw. So you have a length measurement and a thickness measurement. So you've got most screws come in metric now so that's millimeters but some screws still come in imperial which is inches so the the first number is quite easy to work out in terms of length because you can use a tape measure and you can see that a 100 mil screw is going to be a four inch screw or a 50 mil screw is going to be a two inch screw but the the width measurement or the thickness of the screw measurement is where the confusion normally lies so for instance if you're looking at a screw and your length measurement is in millimeters then you all you have to think about is oh it's in millimeters so the thickness will be in millimeters that's all nice and easy but if your length measurement is in inches then the thickness measurement is in a gauge so for instance these are the common sort of sizes you're going to see so this these 3.5 millimeter thick screws would be a gauge six. The four millimeter screws would be a gauge eight. The five millimeter screw is a gauge 10. And a six millimeter screw, depending on what chart you would look at, some would say a six millimeter screw is a gauge 12. Some say a gauge 12 is a 5.5 millimeter screw. So they are your most common screws you're going to see. So if you're as I say, if your first measurement's in millimeters, you know the thickness measurement is also millimeters. But if your measurement's in inches, your length measurement, then the other number that's with the screws on the screw box, it's a gauge measurement. So you can get a bit of confusion if you say you bought these 50 mil fours and you were thinking that the fours were a gauge four, in which case, you're expecting to get a tiny screw, a really thin screw, and these screws turn up. Because a, a gauge four would be sort of like a three millimeter screw. So that's where the confusion really lies. But all you have to really worry about, as I've said in this video already, is the length measurement. If the length is in millimeters, then the thickness is in millimeters. If the length is in inches, then the thickness is in gauge. And then if it's engaged and you want to work it out to the millimeter for the thickness, as in um, like a conversion chart, you can look online. So you can see quite easily if I hold these screws up together, you'll be able to see that they are obviously different sizing in thickness. So as I say, that is the, the measurement that kind of gets confusing when you come to order screws is the thickness part of the two measurements length everyone sort of understands and it's easy to get a tape measure and work out or a ruler and work out inches into millimeters but the thickness is where the difficulty lies so as you can see that they're quite obviously different sizing so depending on what you're going to order does make a big difference to your screws to what the number is so hopefully that's cleared up the confusion with screw sizing um, it really isn't too difficult as long as you, as I say, just take into consideration if you have a millimeter length measurement or an inch length measurement. 